All right, you're being recorded on the cloud. <laughs> Rob, you're on the cloud. All right, we're on the cloud. We're on the cloud. So, guys, I want to talk uh, today. We're going to talk about open houses. I know, uh, Alexa, you're doing something with Brian. I'm not yeah. sure who's going. I think you guys should go. I think it's a good idea to go see uh, uh, open Brian, house live. He wants to go. Is there, is there here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Go here. Here. If you guys have time, go check it out. Um, I got time. So let, let's 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 kind of just break down the beginning parts of what a, a, an open house guy. So an open house is a time for us to perform. It, it really is a performance. I really do give a performance. My attitude, I'm, I'm more hyper. I move around. My 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 arms are open, right? Just sales psychology. That's that's how it is. I, when they're coming in straight to the front door, I'm a big guy. I don't cover the door, right? So there's small little things that I do differently in order to get. The psychology of, of, of a buyer that's coming in and like i said guys i don't really care about selling the house the house is going to sell itself there's never been a house that has not sold if the house is not sold it sells for two reasons it only sells because of price and motivation that's the only reason a house has, has not sold okay so everything else my focus is either on getting three sets of business every listing should have three sets of business of uh, of business pieces coming out of it you should be able to get a listing out of it and you should be able to get two buyers out of it. Okay. So those are the stats of what open houses do if we do it right. Right. So as far as um, taking a step forward, let's, let's just go back. We have an open house this Saturday and Sunday. Once you're committed to doing an open house, guys, we need certain things. I would highly, highly advise that you put out signs at 10 o'clock seems to be my sweet spot when you guys put out signs. The more signs, the better, okay? Um, we want to scatter, that is our advertisements. I treat signs like there are um, like there are warriors and they're fighting for us, right? So if the more signs that we can put out in key locations, the better it is for, all, for, for you guys to not only drive attention, but also to buy Mindshare. Um, who was it? Saturday, somebody came in. They did not find us on Redfin. They did not find us on Zillow. They literally followed the signs to get to our open house on, in Morgan Hill on Birch Street. So now when I, when I sit down with a seller, I tell the sellers that as good as I am, and this is an actual line that I used, as good as I am, and as out of the 15 years that I've been doing this, I have, I have no idea where the buyers are coming from. There is a lot of avenues where buyers are coming from. So my job is to sprinkle a little bit of marketing everywhere. That also includes putting out signs, right? That one buyer that came into our house that now I, actually that's the buyer that I have the listing appointment with, right? That one buyer that one buyer that came into that came in from just following the signs to our house. So make it as simple as possible, but pepper the, the neighborhood with as many signs as you can. Okay. Any questions on that? Now, our signs do look shitty. But maybe our boy DJ can help us out with that and uh, get some new signs. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, those do, we, we, we need signs. We need a lot of signs. Yeah. So the more signs to me, the better. Um, the second thing is try, you, you guys need to get there at least 30 minutes in advance to get this house ready. So right now, the standard times are one to one to four. That's standard. We're doing something different out of my two listings, and I don't know if I like it, to be honest with you, maybe I'll get some feedback from some of my co-listing agents, is we're doing the first open house, the first weekend that a house is alive. We're making it from 11 to five o'clock, 11 to five o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. And my, I'm still seeing people coming in at the most from one to four. So I may be changing that, but just to let you guys know, our times are usually between one and 4 p.m. Okay, which means that you guys need to be out there at 1230. That means that the signs need to be out by that time and you guys need to be in the house by 1230. Now the question is, what are you going to do at 1230, right? At 1230, guys, you want to go in there. You want to open, turn off all the lights. Open, uh, I go around the house and open all the blinds, make sure that as much light is coming on. And if there's any sort of features like, what are those things called up in the ceiling? Fans. Ceiling fans. I, I, I turn the ceiling fans on, even if it's at AC, low. AC, turn the AC and on. AC on. Uh, all these things, you want to have these features running. The reason being is because it catches attention, right? Like you want them to start asking questions because the more questions they ha ask you, the more opportunities you're able to shine as an agent. Okay. You should have those Febreze like, plugins too for the house. There, we did that prior to COVID. So. Okay. Prior to COVID, we do think we did do things a little differently, guys. 
handle Yeah, we did do things differently. I think because we were in COVID for such a long period of time, I think it's now it's, we're, we're starting to get back our groove. So just give us some time on that part. I think that's a good idea. That's music, something we, we do do. Music. Yeah, yeah music. Yeah. So then um, once we end up turning the lights guys down, I'm going to tell you what I do. And I learned this from Jamila, right? Jamila, I did an open house with Jamila. Has no, has, had no experience, but she did something that I thought was great, which is she would put her business cards in every single room mm-hmm. or something of importance that is that that someone should see. So for example, if there was a, whatever the hell this is, right? A, a table, right? That was a, up against a, a window that was that had a view to a nice backyard. She would put her business cards, three of them, it would be three, right? And she would put some waters there, right? Because it would force people to go out there and kind of look at the, the view and maybe that might be the decision maker. So what they do is they look down, they grab your business cards and they walk away, right? Now, you guys are like you the know. salespeople at Nordstrom's, right? When they ask you, do you need help? Our instinct is, is, is to say, no, I'm not interested. You know you're interested. I'm interested. I want to buy some jeans, right? But I don't, I, don't, I don't take that advice until I take the advice later when I start asking for help. Same exact concept with you guys, right? When you guys come in, they're not asking, you know, they're not asking for your business cards. They're roaming around the house and then they'll grab your card either directly or in this case, indirectly. Go for it. I, I remember, um, remember when the loan officers used to give like the pricing sheet? Mm-hmm. We should do that. With the sample payments? Yeah, with the sample payments. I forgot. We, we do, do that. really yeah. look at that. We yeah. do do that. Yeah. And then it we has do do like that. a little, um, like different like a little walking, um, Walk score. Like shops. Yeah, we had a uh, like a, an amenities of the little yeah. town of where yeah. the, the schools are, what the schools were, what the mortgage rates was, um, you know, what's around there as far as shopping centers, how yeah. far that is. It was an in, it was an info it was an info chart. Yeah, yeah. It, which came from the lending side. They have a program that does that. Yeah, I which is great. Of- they do it. They do it for all of them. But again, I think since we're coming out of COVID and we haven't done this in a long time, we're still trying to squeak that wheel. Yeah, well, it's run Wednesday. A bit I'm pretty sure we. That's yeah, like, Jason did it really quick, so he'll, he'll do it. He yeah. takes care of that for us on that end. I think that'd be good because I remember people used to really like that. Yeah, Ours, yeah, an idea right in front of them. For that yeah, so guys, her technique I use the same thing it's three cards. I put my business cards on three sides with your picture up. So I, I, I don't know if this sounds conceited, naive, whatever, but everything sells. Everything, everything is everything that we're doing is to help you better. So what does that mean? Dressing the part means good, right? I know we're a little laxed here. I know we're really laxed here and we haven't been on you guys and we can still make money. That's great. But when we're at a listing appointment, I'm sorry, when we're at a open house, you look sharp. They want to talk to the pretty girl. Trust me, they do, right? They want to, they, they want to see the guy that looks and is put together, right? All that stuff helps you out. Right now, when we make phone calls over the phone, you either have a sexy, girls do well over the phone, right? Why is that? Because the voice carries and then throw that on top of knowledge, right? Same thing with us guys, but now we have an added factor where they can actually see us. They can see my mannerisms. When, I, when I'm talking, I'm talking about this. Honestly, no joke, hands are up. Yeah. Say, hey guys, come on in. That's, that's exactly what I do, right? So, so they get to see all that kind of stuff. Like their defense mechanism is a lot easier when it's face-to-face. So let's play that on our favor. So if we're going to these open houses, guys, let's dress up. Play the game. This is a game. We're dressing up. Um, so cards in every single room, cards in important spots, we're going to lay them down. We're going to put waters on every single one of the rooms that have the three business cards. I play a game with myself. I figure out how many cards get taken away at the end of the day. Um, I won this past weekend at First Street. Right, and I'm going to touch upon why I won, but but then you put those down. Uh, that's what you do inside. Lights on, open windows, get light in, cards and water. When you guys go to the kitchen, I usually find a spot when they're right when they're coming in where I put like a little shrine together. Right, it used to be where we put the flyers, and it used to be where the waters are at, where the madelines were at our business cards, it used to be like this little shrine for open houses where the signing sheet was at, right? I want you to find that uh, uh, somewhere, right? I want you to find that somewhere and then make that little shrine as well, okay? I also throw drinks into the fridge or in the, in the, in the refrigerator if, it, if the house has it, right? It allows me to an opportunity to say, hey, listen, would you like some water? Yes, well, guess what? I got some cold water or I've got some warm water. 
allows me to talk even more, right? What do you want? Bam, grab it, give them, oh, thank you. Especially in this hot weather, right? Put that in there. All this stuff is customer service, guys. All this stuff is a show. That's all it is. And the biggest show, and buyer's great. Well, buyer's great, right? But the biggest show is for listing signs. They're, they're, they're interviewing you without you guys even knowing this kind of stuff, right? So they're thinking, hey, listen, if you're going to do this for, if you're doing this for this house, well, you're going to do this for my house, right? And I've been doing this for a long time, guys, where I've gone into open houses where the dude, like, I'm, I'm thinking of one guy, this dude is sitting on the couch and there's people running, going into the house and he's, he's on his phone and he's telling me, uh, a fly, he tells me like this, flyers are over there. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and look around the house. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have questions. Like, I remember that dude still. It's a little townhouse. Like, I mean, think about the enthusiasm that guy had. He was a door opener. He didn't, he didn't need to be there, right? But, but think about it from a different perspective. First off, think about it for his seller. First off, if his seller saw how he was working, he'd be pretty, the seller would be pissed, right? But more importantly, he already got that business. Think about the, per, the new people that are coming in and get to see that type of, 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 of customer service. It's not that great. It sucks, right? So that is an opportunity for us to kind of sh showcase and, and, and kind of perform on that part. Is there any questions on that part? Jump back on it. Okay, so guys. When, when, when I come in, so I'm a big guy. I know I'm a big guy. My, I, I, and I see it when people look at me, they do this, they do this. They're looking at my shoulder. And they're looking at me. I already know that, which means, which means, no, 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 not, not like that. What I mean is like, I mean, like, uh, like, I know, I, I know the attention is not where, like, I'm not here. I'm here. <laughs> so so i so this is what i do i really do this i i, I crowd myself i try to make myself smaller no i do no joke i try to make myself smaller i'll do this but then what i'll also do is i'll start <laughs> <laughs> i'll <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what I do, guys, on my side, right? But this is how I think, and this is how I end up, even how I've taken it. So when I come in, I do this, like, hey, guys, come on in. And you see me crouching in as much as I can. And, and they're walking up. First off, I have enthusiasm. And I'm kicking. I don't know why I kick, but I kick, like, hey, guys, come on in. Come on in. That's exactly me. That's exactly me. That's exactly me, right? They'll come in through the front door. I never sit, stand on the front door, the door that's around, right? So I always take a couple steps back. My line this past weekend was, hey, folks, come on in. Let's get you out of this sun, get you into AC. Yeah. That was the first thing I said. Right when they come, they go, oh, my God, that's great. Oh, this feels so good. All right, all right, good, good. A feature. You sold a feature <laughs> of the house. They walk into the front door, and then I say, hey, guys, welcome. I go like this. I go, welcome. I go, this is my partner, Irvin, and that's Kimmy. She's a loan officer. My name's Robert. I'm the listing agent for this home. I tell them that I am the listing agent. Even if I'm not the listing agent. And if you're not the listing agent, what can you say? I'm the co-listing agent. Oh, I, I, listen, listen, it doesn't even matter, to be honest with you. Like, I was telling my guys to say I am the listing agent. I, I was telling them, say I'm the listing agent, right? I was there. They're not the listing agent. And they were saying they were listing agents. And these guys had fun saying, that's, that's my partner, Rob. He's just here to hang around. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't care. Say that you're the listing agent. So this is what they, this is what I was saying. I go, hey guys, how are you? Come on in. Let's get you out of the sun. Let's put you in front of AC. Ah, this feels good. Listen, that's Urban. That's my partner over there, uh, Kimmy. Just wanted to say, my name is Robert. Welcome. This is a three-two bedroom property. It's a little bit over twelve hundred square feet. And I do this. Everything in the house has been redone within the last five, six years. Right? I go. We have thirty, thirty to forty thousand dollar panels that have been paid off. We have a two hundred thousand dollar backyard. Um, and we have a gym that's going to be possibly stayed. I go, you're, if you're having any other questions, feel free to roam around the house. We have three guys here that are helping you out, and we're here to help out. It's a performance that we end up doing. And I do it like a freaking ringleader, like I'm a circus guy. Like, no joke. I'm overly the top. I do all this shit. Like I said, hey, go. I, I point. I point, and they look. And they're looking like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> right? I go, yeah, we have a gym over there. And they're looking that way. Yeah, they're looking like for the gym, right? But that, you know, to me, yeah. I know that I've captivated their attention, right? I know that their attention is now on me and they're listening to what I say, okay? 
I let them roam around the house for free. One thing that I hate as a shopper, when I go to uh, uh, Nordstrom's or new, I hate freaking people that are on my ass. I just hate it. I hate that, right? It's like, hey, man, let me do my shopping in peace. Let me go find, gather information. Let me gather questions. And then I'll find you, and then I'll ask you the freaking questions, right? So I understand that. So what I do is, hey, listen, you guys are free to roam around. I let them roam around the whole house, right? And I'll say stupid things like this. What do you think? I'm actually, that's exactly what I do, like that. I go, so what do you think? What do you think, right? Uh, that's what I'm doing. You go, oh, the house looks nice. He goes, hey, you gotta go check out that backyard. And then I walk away. I'll walk away on purpose and they go, they go out that way, right? They take a look at the house. Once they've looked at all the house and they're coming back, that's when I hammer them with questions, right? I go, what'd you think of that backyard, right? I go, it's great, right? So then at that point, I, that's when I start to have a conversation with them, right? I start to get an, uh, uh, a feeling if they like the house or they don't like the house. That's when I start to get a feeling. Uh, my birth street was a little small. Uh, it's a little small, right? That's, that's the thing that I was getting. He goes, it is, right? I go, yeah, that's the issue that my, my sellers were having is this how they're a family of four and this house was starting to get too small. They're at the end of their life for this, for this property here. But you guys, you guys have, you know, two adults and a little one. Seems like you guys are perfect for this house, right? Yeah, but, okay, perfect. We start hearing the butts. Don't care about the butts. But it allows me an opportunity to solve a problem because that's a problem. As a salesperson, I fix problems. So, but I got to find the problem. So once I find the problem at that point, then my mind, my mind, my mind set shifts to trying to figure out how I can solve that problem, right? And I am agreeable through the whole process. I'm not, there's no battle. There's no like, hey, Mark is tough. None of that stuff. I'm all 100% agreeable with everything that they end up saying. And at the end of the day, what I do is, is, is I said, hey, listen, guys. And I, just, I, I speak to them like this. Hey, listen, guys. You know, we do things a little bit differently around here in PRG. I go, we get clients just like yourself. And we take exactly what you're looking for in, in, in what you want in a home. And what we do is we start to hunt for these market off market. Right now. Why is that a benefit for you guys? Because it gives you an opportunity to maybe kind of show, to see a home that you guys would not have any, um, uh, that you guys would not have access to by just doing the MLS. Is that what you're doing? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. So then I try to go into the appointment by setting up a Zoom, like, hey, and I do it nonchalant, right? So I say, hey, listen, guys, I mean, I think it's a huge benefit. Just give me like 20 minutes. Let's, 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 just, let's just talk about it. Let's just figure out what's going on, how I can provide some value and get you into the, into a home sooner than later. Do I know they're buying a house? Do we know they're buying a house? If they're coming to my open house, I know they're buying a house, right? That step, that first question that Maddie asks, yeah, I just wanted to see how your home, how your home uh, search was going. That's your first line, right? Or when do you plan on buying a home? These guys that are coming into the open houses, they're 100% sure they're buying a house. You know that, they're buying yeah. a house there. They're just gonna, it's just a question of who are they going to buy the house with, right? Mm -hmm. Another thing that I do, because I hate the word when, when agents ask, do you have an agent? Hmm. I hate that word, right? I hate that phrase. I go differently. This is exactly what I do to get that, that, that question out. As I say, hey, listen, so what do you think of this house? This house is great, Robert. I love it. Great, great. Well, why don't I do this? You know, I'll go ahead and send off disclosures and report. I stop. I stop, I do disclosures and reports, and I go, I'm sorry, by the way, do you guys have an agent? Right? Yes, I have an agent. Right? Okay, great, great, great. Well, you know what? Your agent should not have any issues with pulling up disclosures and reports or electronic. Right? That's the reason why I asked that question. I say that. That's the reason why I asked that question. Well, the reason why I asked this question is because your agent should be able to pull up these disclosures and reports online. Right? So that's how I find out if they actually have an agent or not. Right? Luis, is that what you do too? No. Yeah. So that's how I use the disclosure reports to figure out to see if they have an agent. At that point, now I know the game, right? Now I know, well, well how am I going to convert this guy into my guy, right? And that goes back to the line of questioning. Well, how's it going, right? How's it going? How long have you been, how long have you been searching, right? We've been searching for a year. Ooh, about a year, huh? Yeah, it's a tough market out there, Mr. Customer. You know what I mean? It's really tough out there, right? He goes, yeah. He goes, and how many offers? Right. And then I try to educate them a little bit. Right. You know what? Hang in there. You know, that's the reason why I'm trying to, edu why I'm trying to uh, 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 educate them a little bit and kind of like sympathize. sympathize with them because I don't want them to lose hope. 
right? I don't want to mm. pull them and then lose hope. Like, well, Rob, you kind of told me that it's a tough market out there, right? So I, I, I tell them, say, hey, listen, it's a tough market. But then what I do is I start to sympathize with them and say, hey, listen, we gotta, you got you to keep hanging in there, right? And then I go into how I'm getting my buyers into contract. If somebody is telling you that they've written three to four offers, that is a sweet spot where I notice people start to have doubts in the process. That's when people start to say, home buying is not for me. Those are the times where it's super, super easy to have a new buyer in hand when they've been looking for the past couple of months and they've been shot down three to four times. And I want you guys to pay attention to this. I tell this in my buyer's consultation. I go, Mr. Customer, it usually takes me four, five to six offers to get someone into the contract. I'm going to tell you how the roller coaster is going to work. I go, usually the third and the fourth time, I start to see morale drop, right? Usually around the third and fourth offer, what usually happens is you're going to come to me and tell me this, exactly the same word. You're going to tell me, home buying is not for me. Maybe I should wait. This market is too crazy. I start to hear negative thoughts. Mr. Customer, my job is to keep, is to pump you guys up. I have a 100% success rate if you ride this roller coaster with me that you will get a home that you want. But I'm just going to tell you how it is. I'm setting them up on what to expect, right? I do the same exact thing when it comes to the open houses. When I ask, how many offers have you submitted? And I can have an idea as far as their mentality, where they're at in the roller coaster of, of uh, emotions when it comes to buying a house. Depending on the number that they tell me, at that point, I'm able to play it and, and a, a lot better and secure. Mauricio was there with me. You saw that one, right? You saw me live, right? He's out there no more. Yes, I did. It all worked. I was observing you the whole time. And then I started doing that where you guys, is he frozen? Nestor, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I think Rob's frozen. Can you guys hear me out there? I don't know, dude. And that's not my Wi-Fi. Anyway, if you can hear me, Nestor and I were both there. I was observing Rob, and then I started doing what Rob was doing when Rob left. And then Nestor started doing that when he got comfortable, right? <laughs> Which is pretty quick. Yeah, I think they're frozen, bro. Oh, there he's so coming. what? His, his, oh, laptop, he died. his computer died. That's what I'm saying. Are you hitting the Slack up right now? Oh, no. No, oh, there's a manual. Is it, did, Rob's, did Rob's laptop die? I died. Yeah. I think. I, think <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear me or not, but it was totally frozen. It's kind of a, a turnoff, right? Like, look, dude, I just came into the house. Yeah. There you go, like, Rob. Let's, let's look at the house, right? Yeah. So I think. I think uh, avoiding the let's let, uh, do you have an agent question is maybe towards end. Sure, let's yeah. give them what they want. And what they want is they want to see the house. I had Kimmy. I had Kimmy. So so this is this is this is the difference between agent, right? And granted, it was Kimmy's first open house ever, right? Last weekend. Last weekend, okay. right? So what Kimmy did was there was this age, this, this person that came in, right? And she ended up uh, uh, she ended up uh, she, she basically just walked into the house. I gave her the presentation and she goes straight to the backyard because the backyard was the most beautiful, was the nicest thing about the house, right? They shoot to the outside and Kimmy goes and follows, right? You got to remember, it's a hundred, what was it? It was hot as hell this past yeah. weekend. Like all 100. Yeah. 97, 98. And kept her outside and hammered her with pre-qualification questions about her mortgage. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you happy with your mortgage? Uh, what, what kind of mortgage do you have? Do you whatever, da, 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 da. Think about that. So she comes in there to go inside and look at a house, and then she stays outside, and she's getting beat by the sun, and then she's getting beat by my girl, by my girl Kim. Right? Did she get the phone number? She got the phone number. There's, there's many ways to get the phone number. Yeah. Right? But there's, I think there's more finesse ways. I had to say, hey, listen, Kimmy, come inside. Let's get her out of the heat. You know what I mean? But see, sometimes we're not prone to that stuff because we're so tunnel vision, no. just to get, just to get the, uh, just to get what we want. Where we got to remember, where we got to, we got to play the whole thing as like an orchestra all together. Right, so hold off on the, do you have an agent until the end? Let's give them what they want. 
That's my advice. Brian might could give you different advice, but I'm just telling you that's my advice. Um, what other any other questions? Anything? Um, let's see. What else? What else? Um, want to do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Show them your moves, now. You saw me. <laughs> how, how was you give feedback? These guys hear me talk like I'm talking about myself and shit. <laughs> now you talk about me. <laughs> 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 Better <laughs> off, guys. <laughs> you really understand? Then you have to go do their own thing. Is do a role play when they say they have a <laughs> What's what? And role play when they say they have an agent. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be a little lenient because there are people that are willing to talk when they have agents. So, so, so you guys get pushbacks? At open houses, when you when they yeah, sometimes they're like, I have an agent. Like, don't worry about it. I'll just ask my agent. Then don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't worry. But about no, but there, there, there's a difference between those people and then finding people who are willing to talk to another agent, like that one lady, right? The white, the white girl, yeah. Katie, and she was willing to talk to. She just kept losing, right? So, yeah. um, so those are the people. Those are the ones that you're like, okay, that's the one that you you yeah. kind of. But how did you get to that point? How did you get to that point where she was losing? I asked her. I was like, oh, how long have you been in the market? Right. There you um, go. Have you submitted any offers yet? There Why you haven't go. you won yet? There right. you go. Where are you looking? That's exactly. How are, how are you offering? What is your offer structure? There you go. Right. Now, now let's finesse it. Now, now let's finesse it. Right. Mm-hmm. So, what did you think of the house? Uh, I think it was nice, Rob. I like, like it. it. I think I want to write an offer. Oh no, no way. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah. I, I gotta ask you this. I'm an agent. Yeah. Do you have an agent? Uh, I do have an agent right now. We've been looking for the past say like seven months seven months yeah right? mm-hmm. how many is this your first offer that you're submitting no this is like my six Ooh, your six one huh yeah i know it's co- competitive that's what my agent keeps telling me so i think that's just how the market is right now well, what do you think is what do you think is, is the reason why you haven't gotten your offer accepted i guess i mean we've been second place like twice but so i don't know my agent just told me that like you just didn't get it god that sucks you know i have multiple uh, clients that emotional roller coaster that you're writing i'm writing it with multiple uh, with multiple of my clients, and it is a tough market that's out there. Yeah. Um, so you're so you're interested in this property? Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, listen, I'm I. What I'd like to do is just maybe have an opportunity to kind of show you what we do differently. And, and I know you have an agent. I don't want to step on anybody's toes, uh, Emmanuel. Uh-huh. But uh, we do do things a little bit different, mm-hmm. right? How'd you find out about this place? I found out about this place on uh, Zillow, actually. Found on Zillow. Yeah. Can I tell you something? You know that I have uh, another six properties, five of them that are not on the market yet. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So here's a here's a the difference between working with someone like myself is that we're actively looking for listings. I have five offers. I have five new listings that are popping up in the next couple of weeks that nobody knows about. Mm-hmm. Right. This is a perfect opportunity for me to kind of showcase what I have in my inventory, but also to show you how possibly I could find that right home that's not on the market. Now. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming since you're looking for a home, that might be something you may be interested in. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, I'd be interested in that. But right now, I really like this. So. You, you like this property? Yeah, I, I want to I buy this. Well, then why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and kind of take, take 15, 20 minutes to kind of go over all the information. I'll give you all the information that needs to be done. Um, and then at that point, we can, uh, you know, we can discuss, you know, maybe a game plan to kind of move forward. What do you think? Yeah, I think, but, you know, Rob, I've, I've never really worked with an agent. Is it okay that I meet with you, even though I have an agent? Like, that, That's up to you. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I mean, what's your goal? My goal is to get a house. Right? Does, you, does it really matter who you get the house with or does it? Because if it does, and I'll be yeah. honest with you, if it does, Emmanuel, you need to stick with your agent. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I'll be completely honest. If your goal is to satisfy someone's needs or satisfy someone's, uh, you know, uh, you know, you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, I'm with you. I'm all for loyalty. Right. But at the end of the job, at the end of the day, the way you kind of rank an agent is if they get you a house. Yes or no? I think so. Got it. Got yeah. It. Like I, I, you know, I'm pretty frustrated about the market. I don't know if it's like my agent or maybe I'm not offering enough or maybe the strategies that they've been, we've been using it aren't working. Right. So I'm definitely open to, you know, seeing my other options, but I just feel bad, you know, because they've been showing me, you know, a lot of properties, so I, I'm really just at a standstill right now. Of what yeah. I should do? I totally agree with you, Emmanuel. I, like I said, I, I I love loyalty, and I can see it in your eyes when uh, when you're you know maybe entertaining a possibility of maybe looking at other agents. Why don't we do this? Let's not let's not agree to leave your agent right now. At this okay. point, stick with your agent. Okay. Let's do this. Just give me 20, 30 minutes to show you what I do differently, 
give me 20, 30 minutes to show you exactly what I could do in order to get your house sooner than later. If what I say makes sense, right? At the end of the day, when you're by yourself, then at that point, you can make the decision if it's something that you want to move forward with me or not. I think we're moving a little bit too ahead of a game by hiring me. First off, I don't want you to hire me right now. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm just asking for an opportunity. Let's look at the situation as a from a 300 foot view. Okay. Right. Let's look at the situation as as far as why why are you even looking? I don't know that. I just met you. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's figure out what you want in order to make you happy and how we're going to get there. Okay. Right. Once we look at the whole situation, you're getting a second perspective of a, of a top ranked agent here in the area. And then at that point, you can make a decision if it's if I'm the right fit or not. What, how does that sound? I think that sounds good. I think I'm just going to work with you. Now, this is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. <laughs> when he says that, I give myself the authority, right? I am the listing agent, right? So Tyler got to see this. He doesn't know this, right? But I said, Tyler, do me a favor. Collect this information. Did I tell you to do that? Yeah. I told him to do that, right? Why? That gives me authority at that point. Right at that point, I now I now made Tyler under me. Right, hey Tyler, do me a favor, collect the information, make sure that you cut, get all the address, make sure that you get all the information. Right, that now puts me at a certain level. That now puts me at a certain level in the seller's eyes or the buyer's eyes. Right, by him doing that. Now he gets benefit from that. How does he get benefit from that? He gets benefit from because he now he now gets to keep the client. He keeps all he, he kept all the buyers. Right. So that's how, that's how everything, everything that we do guys in sales has everything that we do in sales. There is a reason why we do things in sales, right? Even the subtle things, even the subtle things of how I talk, even the subtle things, fair enough, even my tonality, even the way I speak, all of that stuff put together as an art form, a beautiful art form. I love sales, beautifully done and executed correctly. It's beautiful. All that stuff is to lead to one thing which is to get an opportunity, mm -hmm. right? I did my job correctly, which now also feeds Tyler. Tyler's jumping into the mix. All right, Tyler, you go for it, yeah. right? Tyler's the one now that's making the phone call, setting up the appointments, making that happen. We have a listing appointment. We did that exact move to the point where this guy was talking and I gave him the eye. I did, right? It was I. The eye was like, that was the eye. Okay, bro, I don't need your help, bro. Like move to the side, oh, right? No, no. Why? Why? Why do I want that? Do you know how confusing it is when there's two, two different people, two yeah, people two different barking people. at yeah, you? Yeah. That's what that's what it is. It's barking at you. You're, you're a client, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. and the levels are two different levels. You're getting one level, then you're getting another level. Again, that's sales. It's not maybe in a dick, right? It's just that. Hey, listen, I don't need you to ride this car. I don't need you to drive this car. Now you're in my way. You're grabbing my freaking steering wheel. Move to the side. Yeah, I right. think in terms of like an art form, like from what, like I'm similar to you on how it's like a mindset, right? When you feel that you don't need the client, it comes off much smoother and cleaner yes. to their ear, right? It's like what Rob said, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you don't need to work with me, right? We're, we're moving too fast, right? I don't even know what you want, right? But I just need 30 minutes to show you how we do things and see if it's a good fit. Yeah, let's see. You're the one right? at the end of the day. So it's not, it's not commission breath. You're not no. saying like, oh, but if you work with me, you know, I can guarantee that we can get you the house because it's my listing. And I and, see that. I see yeah. that when we go to open houses. I see, I see people hanging on dudes, on like on people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they'll, 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 they'll follow them. And to me, it's like, I, I, I don't like that. Now, do I think we should provide customer service? Hell yeah, we should provide customer service. But I think it's just fine line be, of, of, of crossing the line and then being that, 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 that fly on the wall that buzzes when they need to, when they need to help. Does that make sense? So uh, uh, any questions? What do you think? That was good. Okay. That was good. It's exactly okay. how I. So now the presentation coming in, because I think this is more important is the presentation that comes in. The other stuff is sales stuff, right? So let's treat this as a door, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go, go that way. You're coming in. So first off, guys, we're always on the front door. We're somewhere hovering the front door, right? Not hovering the door. We're hovering away from the door, but where I can see people that are coming in. I want them to be, I want to be the first guy. The moment they step on my, from the sidewalk into my driveway, that's when showtime starts. Right? Are you going to show the Zoom? I would have been there already, right? <laughs> come on in. So first, this is the way. I play it. My back's to them. I turn around. They come in. I come this way. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? My name is Robert. I'm the listening agent. Yes. Uh, I, I've got my partner here. I've got uh, my lending team as well. So if there's any questions that you need, feel free to let us know. But before I let Can you Can someone go, turn the laptop around? It's a three, two bedroom property built in 1987, 1,200 square feet. Just a little bit over. Everything in the house has been redone.
redone within the last five years. We do this. Everything in the house has been redone the last five years. We have paid off solar panels, which are about thirty to forty thousand dollars paid off. We have about a two hundred thousand dollars pointing of a two hundred thousand uh, dollar backyard that has been completely redone within the last five years as well. Walls have been painted, brand new flooring, everything has been <clears throat> All right. So before I let you go, is there any questions? Is there anything that I need to help out with? The original question that I left out. Um, on purpose. Um, no, I said that way. There's something that I missed out. What is the price? Oh, it's the price. That's what I do. I do this. Good question. A million forty nine. We went on the market for a million forty nine. We're about two days on the market. So how long? How much did you get? Oh, that's a very good question. Do you have any? Um, I haven't. No, I don't. Okay. I don't have, I don't have any. So why don't we do this? Do me a favor. Take a look at the take a look at the house. Let me know if you like it. Okay. If you like it, then at that point, you and I will have a conversation about any other detailed questions you have. Okay. Got it. Now, go talk about price. Right? He looks at the house. He looks at the house, and he does this. Tell me that question again. Okay. So I love that. Wow! House. I love the house. It's beautiful. Okay. How much? Me? Well, we're listing on the market for a million forty-nine. Okay, but yeah, I know real estate's crazy right now. The yeah. agents are basically lying. So how much do they really want for the house? Hey, listen, you're absolutely right. The way that I list my uh, properties, I list them below market. We do have a goal that we are we are uh, trying to aim for. I'll be completely honest with you. We're shooting for the stars of this one because I think we have an amazing product. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are interested in the property, what I would probably suggest is that we kind of talk about pricing in a different matter. I really can't talk about it right here just because there's other people that are around the house. Mm -hmm. And that's, I don't want to kind of divulge that information. But if you are interested and you don't have an agent, I, I can definitely end up helping you out and let you know what my sellers are looking for. How does that sound? That sounds good. Perfect. What what he had a big carrot that got dangled in front of him, right? The reason why I didn't tell him the price in the beginning is because I'm going to turn this guy off right off the bat. So I what I did was I gave him the benefit of the doubt and said, "Good job on the price," even though I left that out on purpose. 